<laughs> no stress bike dot com. Man, I'm sorry. Uh, we're we're talking about uh, why Americans kill. This is part six, and um, I'm sorry that I, I'm 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 jumping around a whole lot more than I would want wanted to jump around, as you can tell. Well, you know, uh, I got. I got my own disabilities I got to deal with. And if I took notes and tried to go by my notes, I might get that all screwed up. So I just got to go by the seat of my pants on this stuff. But um, we're talking about bullies. And uh, you, as parents, should be teaching your child how to defend themselves physically. Teach them how to fight. You don't know how to fight? That's because you were brought up to be a pussy. And now you want to go on and do it over to your own kids. Wake up. Take personal responsibility over your own family. Remember, remember I told you, in, in China, no. The state takes care of them. So anything happens, don't worry. The state will take care of you. Like I say, I'm worried about shit hits the fan. My wife said, oh, don't worry about it. You know, the, the government will take care of us, whatever happens. You know I mean, oh, yeah, okay. Uh, like the government's going to take care of me the way that I want to be taken care of? I don't think so. I'm going to have to, what do we talk about? Look for the crumbs. What does the government give me in crumbs that I'm going to have to deal with? I don't think so. I'll take care of it myself. Okay. Uh, so, shit hits the fan. That'd be like a bully. A bully wants, okay, that's shit hits the fan. But you're a kid. You're learning what shit hit the fan is. You better learn how to do it. Your parents... Send them some kind of uh, martial arts school so they learn something. Learn how to take a, take a, a punch. Learn how, to, learn how to do something with themselves instead of, oh, go, go report them. You know, oh, man, sissies. I mean, that's what's going on. That's what the 911 is. 911 is the government telling you you're so damn stupid, you can't do a damn thing for yourself. So call somebody that can. But remember, whoever comes, they don't want to take personal responsibility either. So you're screwed. So why don't you just take personal responsibility? Okay. Uh, all right. Talking about the bullies uh, and how the rest of the world, uh, or a lot of the world, looks at the United States uh, and uh, as being a bully. And I want to I want to go through this because that has a lot to do why Americans kill. Okay. Uh, when you when when our military goes to another country, they occupy it. They try not to act like they occupy. They put a base there, and they try not to act like they're occupying. Um, if you live into, if you lived in a college town, these college students, they're occupying your town. You've got to cater to their needs. You have to pamper them. That's the same thing that happens when a military comes into your town. You you are being occupied, and you have to pamper them. You have to see to their needs, and some people will financially benefit from them, while the rest of you are just being occupied, and they're uh, they're going to be uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, implementing laws, rules. And things like that that um, aren't your normal way of life. Um, they're going to put up restrictions some way or another. Either come into your home or they're going to put roadblocks out or they'll just stop you on the side of the road and start getting involved in your own personal business. And uh, for some reason these people find that offensive. I wonder why they would find that offensive. Because if they did that in America, in my little town that I'm in, I'm going to be killing somebody. 
okay, but these other countries, they're used to being bullied. You're just a different bully moving into the neighborhood. But they still come, you, we still come across as being bullies. That's why they don't like it. And then, um, I know most people don't get a chance to go into these places, but when you go to these places, people find you offensive, and then you have a gun, and you end up shooting people. So that just irritates people even more for some reason. Uh, and this is why people outside the United States, uh, and, well, and then they see television, and they see television, and it looks as if Americans, American television, Americans are shooting people, they're killing people. And so, in their minds, they see Americans as killing people. Uh, well, they look at it, they don't hear, okay, we're going to go into this a little different now. Okay, this is the problem I'm having, and I've tried to fight it off. I've tried not to have this attitude. But... Our police. Oh, man. I hate to call them police. And the reason is, police, the tactics police use is policing. It's a skill. Uh, you, oh, I'm not going to try to get into that. But, but policing is a career. It's something you do. Uh, law enforcement is what I talk about the military going into other countries uh, pushing their laws and, and uh, regulations and rules and stuff on these people that's exactly what law enforcement does uh, they are uh, pushing their laws, and I, what I say, what, Mike, how can you say their laws? Now, wait a minute. Let's go back to the beginning on this. Constitution. There's constitutional laws, and there's laws that are non-constitutional. They're not, they, they have no constitutional bearing at all. And when you adapt laws that are unconstitutional, for some reason, people, uh, let's say Americans, like myself, uh, like I'm a constitutionalist, uh, I believe in the Constitution. Without the Constitution, what do we have? We have a bunch of, what I say, dopehead officials telling us what to do. And they would use force because without the Constitution, I wouldn't have the weapons to back up my constitutional duties of making sure that the government doesn't turn into a tyrant. And I need to ask questions like, why are the police acting like military? Oh, yeah, I forgot. They need the military gear because the people that they are fighting, the criminals, are so well armed. That's why they're using military style gear and tactics. And that's the way they justify it. Okay. I would go along with that. Providing you only applied that to the criminals. But me, as an American, with all the American rights and obligations...
You think you're going to use your force on me? I trained SWAT teams 14 years. And the reason was the SWAT teams at that time was used only for criminals. Now they're used all the time. That's when I stopped training. They've uh, applied, they use the same tactics on everybody. They don't, uh, they don't police. They use force and intimidation and murder. They don't kill. They murder. Well, I think we'll have to come back to that. This is Mike. No stress, Mike. Dot com.